Now, building a community takes a huge amount of effort. It does not happen overnight. It's something that takes a lot of commitment, a lot of persistence, and a lot of consistency in order to keep that group together um, and keep it growing. However, it is well worth the effort. And I can guarantee you that once you've got a community that's thriving and growing and naturally and organically getting bigger and bigger and bringing you constant referrals and business, you'll be ever so glad that you invested the time in into making this happen in the first place. So one of the first benefits is that you have a targeted audience. If you're bringing together a group of people who are interested in your topic, interested in your expertise, you no longer have this big scattergun approach to marketing. What a lot of business owners uh, do, which is a very big mistake when it comes to marketing that costs them thousands and thousands of dollars, is that they have to shout very, very loud across a very wide space with their message, with their marketing and advertising, which is such a waste because the majority of those people are not their target audience. Whereas when you've built your own community, you know that 100% of those are your target audience and therefore you're spending the right money in the right place and you're not wasting any time or money with your advertising. The second benefit of building a community is that you get organic growth and referrals through shareability. Now, what I mean by that is, um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with social media. There's a lot of sharing of posts, there's sharing of articles, there's sharing of newsletters, there's sharing of videos. Now, if I've got 2,000 friends on my Facebook and I share something of yours, you've just exposed yourself and your business to 2,000 more people simply because I clicked a button. So one of the things you really want to be trying to achieve with your community, with your groups, particularly on social media, because the reach is absolutely humongous, is to create information, help and advice around your particular topic that is going to have shareability, that is going to get people to press that share button and gain you maximum exposure for free. That's just one of the most fantastic results that can come out of having your community working for you. So our third tip is that you have one to many. You no longer have this situation where you're having to go out and meet clients one by one. Of course, you're always going to have to do that, but it, it mass massively reduces you depending only on that. So instead of exchanging your time for money, going out and seeing customers one by one by one, you're actually saying one message once a day to hundreds, if not thousands of people. So you're scaling your business, you're scaling yourself, you're scaling scaling your marketing, meaning that instead of swapping for your time, you are simply giving information and putting it out to so many people at the same time. Number four is org organic growth and referrals. Now, I have spent a lot of time engaging with my, my particular communities. And I have now lots of people who know me for what I specialize in. And I now have friends and strangers alike recommending my services to other members in the group who ask questions on topics around my area of expertise. And that is exactly what you want to be happening for you in your particular business. You want to be getting completely natural organic referrals from other people in these communities by becoming famous in those communities for what you do. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, also, you have increased intimacy with your audience because they're going to begin to know, like, and trust you. If you're engaging with them every day as a human, as a person, instead of as a business, you know, we, we're so often seeing these brands that are throwing sales in our faces. It feels very cold. It makes us feel like we're just a consumer, just a number. We don't engage with those brands. However, if we have a person that's constantly answering our questions, that, um, you know, shows pictures pictures of their, them and their family that also shares what it's like just to be them. We find ourselves connecting with those at a human level. So this level of intimacy that we create when we have a community really helps our business. It helps referrals, it helps people come to us, and it helps us be top of mind if our services or products actually ever are needed by, the, by those people. Another fantastic benefit of communities is the sharing of knowledge and expertise. If you're bringing similar people together with similar interests, some people are frightened that there's going to be this creation of competitiveness, that there's going to be competing businesses in the same space. Well, actually, that can be completely the opposite situation when it comes to communities. What we find when you bring experts together is that actually people begin to share their best practice. People 
people begin to very openly share what's working for them, what's not working for them, what they don't know, what they need help with, great opportunity for you to then come in with your advice and your expertise. It just creates this community of belonging. It also creates more opportunity to continue to build on that trust and that likability, getting people to know you and like you as a person. So these are just some of the many reasons why communities are absolutely invaluable. And the great thing is for business owners is that 100% of the time, all of them lead back to more sales.